Once the hole is clean, you can remove the spark plug. A standard deep socket can work, but a dedicated spark plug socket is slimmer, and more importantly, it has a collar that's gonna retain the spark plug. If the spark plug doesn't come out with the socket, you can grab it with a magnet or a snug fitting hose. With your plugs out, it's a good idea to inspect them and look for clues about what's going on inside your engine. There's a lot of nuance to reading spark plugs, but the general idea is this. The end of the plug should be clean and the insulator should be light to dark brown. If it's black and oily or white and blistered, something's not right. It's also important to confirm the spark plug gap and make sure that it matches what's listed in your workshop manual. For that, you can use a set of feeler gauges or you can use a spark plug gap gauge. These are available at the checkout counter of pretty much every auto parts store, or you can get one for $2 at Revzilla. Now, platinum and iridium plugs are typically good to go right out of the box. The gap has been pretty standardized, but standard nickel plugs often need to be adjusted. To close the gap, you simply press down on the grounding strap against your worktop, and if you need to open it, the gap gauge here has a pretty nifty little hole in it that is designed just for that purpose.